Hello guys, welcome to Red and Gold News, the ultimate source for American football news and analysis. Stay up to date with our latest content by liking and subscribing. Let's get to today's news. Today, we're diving into one of the fiercest rivalries in the game, the San Francisco 49ers versus the Los Angeles Rams. Debo Samuel, one of the star players for the 49ers, recently opened up about his intense dislike for the Rams. I hate the Rams, like, with a passion, Samuel told Kevin Hart on the Cold as Balls video series. He went on to explain that the 49ers are a team that lets their play on the field do the talking. We're not a team to go out in the media and be like, who is this person? What this person do? We just put the pads on and go to work, he said in an interview with NFL Network last year. On the other side of the field, Rams defensive lineman Aaron Donald isn't a fan of the 49ers either. I dislike the Niners. Everybody knows that, Donald told NFL Network. They don't like us. It's just the rivals. Every time we play, it's a dogfight, and that's how it is. No love at all towards them guys. Donald's response to a reporter's question about Samuel following a Rams loss to the 49ers in 2020 went viral. Who? Who's that? He asked, playing coy. But as Samuel pointed out, the 49ers aren't a team that relies on trash talk to win games. They let their play on the field do the talking, and that's exactly what they did when they beat the Rams in 2020. Of course, the 49ers have faced their fair share of challenges this season. They lost their starting quarterback, Trey Lance, to an ankle injury in Week 2, and then Jimmy Garoppolo went down with a broken foot in Week 13. That left Brock Purdy as the team's starting QB, and he performed admirably until he suffered a torn UCL in the NFC Championship game. You never expect a team to get to the third quarterback, but overall, the way he handled everything, it was outstanding, Samuel told Hart in the same interview. When Purdy went down early in the game, the 49ers had to rely on their running game to grind out a hard-fought victory. So whatever it takes, if we gotta go back to 1950, three yards a carry right up the middle all game, this is what it's going to have to be. We can't throw it, Samuel said. Like, what were we supposed to do? You've gotta be thankful for just being in that moment. And that's the kind of determination and grit that has made the 49ers one of the most successful teams in the NFL. With players like Samuel leading the charge, there's no doubt they'll continue to be a force to be reckoned with in the years to come. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time for more football news.